This is a uh, Russian Slava watch uh, with an unusually high number of jewels for a Russian movement. It's 26 jewels. I've seen Russian watches with as much as 29 jewels, but they are quite rare. You typically see 17 jewels on a uh, Russian movement. Uh, what also sets this watch apart is that it's got what was called in its day, I guess, a TV style dial. And it's just, it's got this rounded rectangular shape that sort of reminds you of one of those old uh, TVs. Um, the dial is also quite distinctive in its design. It's got this two tone color, or two tone color, right? It's got this black and white finish. And um, instead of uh, the hours, it displays the minutes um, on the side. It's also got a date and a day display down here. The cool thing about uh, the way you adjust it is that uh, you adjust the day and the time by, you know, pulling out the crown and uh, turning it. But you adjust the date with a quick release button or a I don't know if a quick release is the right word, but it's uh, it's this tiny button over here. You see it? I'm not sure if the camera is focusing correctly on it, but um, let's see. There we go. Yep, this is it right here, and it's it's got a like a slot design, so you can actually do it with your nail instead of uh, trying to do it with a pen, like I'm doing it now. So you simply you know, on the go, slide your nail in there and press on that uh, on that button, um, and uh, adjust the date that way. Right. Let me stick this back in in its place. Right. So this was made sometime in the nineteen seventies. I got it uh, in uh, 2017, and it was in pretty bad shape. Uh, you can still see that the dial is stained over here, and so it, it, it's lost uh, some of its coloring here because it was truly grimy. Somebody had left it somewhere where somehow mildew or something had gotten on the dial itself, and I, and I asked the watchmaker to scrub it a lot just to even if the gradations were going to be lost I just wanted it clean because I couldn't stand that grime on it the back of it was full of grime as well and the mechanism the movement it was just a mess it took about uh, six months uh, for the service now I'm not saying the watchmaker worked on it for six months I'm just saying it took longer than usual uh, to get it back and now that it's been serviced, fully serviced, it works great. It's uh, it's an accurate timekeeper, and um, I do enjoy wearing it from time to time. It's certainly a different style compared to my other watches. Yeah. Thanks for watching.